Hi everyone, my name is Boki Akimare. I'm a food influencer and food blogger here in Lagos, Nigeria. You're welcome to my channel. If you haven't already joined the family, please hit the subscribe button now so that you can subscribe. You can also hit the bell so that you're notified every time I post new content. I share recipes, kitchen tips, kitchen hacks, so there's always something new for you twice a week, every single week. Today I will be making one of the best soups to come out of Nigeria. It's actually from the eastern part of Nigeria. It's called Ofe Onubo, also known as bitter leaf soup. I love this soup so much. It's actually unbelievable. The first time I ever had this soup, I expected it to taste really bitter. Like it's made with bitter leaf, right? So it's supposed to taste bitter, but oh my God, I was in for a shock. This soup is so yummy and I've been wanting to make it on my channel. I've actually um, been eating it now for, I think about three years and I wanted to share today how simple and how easy it is to make Ofe Onobu. Oh my God, you guys are going to be in for a treat. For my Ofe Onobo, I'm going to be using some beef, some pomo, some smoked catfish. This is some stockfish. And this is my Onobo. This is the bitter leaf. It's already been washed and cleaned, so it's ready to go. It's not as bitter as the fresh leaves. This is already washed and most of the bitterness is already gone. But it still has some of it because you need that for the soup. I'm also going to use Kokoyam. Imo, pe people from Imo, they call this Ede, right? I think. They call this ede, but this is kokoyam. Um, I'm going to use some palm oil. I'm using ogiri, which is very important in this soup. I'm also using some crayfish powder, some stock powder, some Cameroon pepper, and I'm also going to use the stock that I got from boiling my meat. For this soup, I'm going to start first with my meat stock in the pot. Now, this is because I already cooked my meat, but if you're just starting out to cook your meat fresh, um, put your meat in the pot, season it and let that cook and then when it's ready, I'll tell you what the next step is. But for me, because I already cooked my meat, I'm going to add everything back into the pot. I was trying to save time, you guys, even though this soup doesn't really take a long time, but I still needed to cut my cooking time in half. You know how I like to prep. So I have my meat and uh, my beef and my pomo in the pot now with the, uh, with the meat stock. It's going to look like I'm just cooking it. Well, that's what I'm trying to achieve. So I'm just going to let this start to boil and then we'll go to step two. Now I'm also going to add my stock fish and then I'm going to add some more water. This is how you build the sauce or the soup for this unubu. It's this liquid that we're going to thicken that is going to become the actual soup. So you have to add some water as much as you think you need depending on how many people you're cooking for. So I'm just going to taste this and make sure that the seasoning is fine. Okay. Next, I'm going to add my smoked catfish. Now, this is still step one. Step two is where we add the palm oil. Get really good palm oil. These people are so particular about the kind of palm oil that they use. Get really good palm oil for your soup, like every time. I usually have someone bring my palm oil for me from Aquai Bomb. It's so good. Anyway, so this is step, step two. Add in your palm oil and then you can add in your crayfish powder. If you're also going to be needing extra spice, you can add in your Cameroon pepper or fresh pepper. I think a lot of people use fresh pepper, which is fine, but I'm going to use Cameroon pepper, which is just for the heat. And please don't tell me I've cooked this soup wrong because I don't think the kind of pepper I use matters, but let me know what you think. If this is totally wrong, then let me know. But I think it's fine. So I'm just going to let this uh, boil and then I'll go and get my kokoyam ready. I already cooked it, so I need to peel it and pound it because that's the thickener for the soup. So I'm going to let this continue to cook now and then I'll go and get my kokoyam ready. I'm going to add in my ogiri now and let it dissolve in the soup. My kokoyam is also ready that I've pounded and I'm going to add that next once the ogiri has dissolved. Now I'm ready to add my kokoyam into the soup. 
can add in lumps like this and it just dissolves by itself so don't worry if you add too much cocoa yam and you feel like your soup is too thick you can thin it out with water although it's supposed to be somewhat thick so I'll show you what it's supposed to look like I'll give it a little time now for the cocoa yam to dissolve and then I'll add my unugu into the soup. My cocoa yam has dissolved now and it's time for me to add in the onubu. And this is the consistency that you want for your soup. This is what it should look like. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes for the leaf to cook and soften properly and for it to infuse into the soup and my Onubu soup is ready. I'm going to be serving mine with some Gary Eba. Yellow Gary, oh my God, it's so good, you guys. see how easy this was this soup actually excites me every time I think about this soup I actually make it it is so yummy I think it was during my uh, first pregnancy actually no my second pregnancy that I ate this soup a lot and I'm not even tired of it it's really simple you guys if you haven't already tried it please try it if you're able and you think I did great please leave me your comments in the comment section leave me your suggestions also I'd like to hear from you and thank you so much for watching this video don't forget though if you haven't already subscribed please do that now hit the subscribe button before you go I'd love to see you in my next video so hit the notification bell also so you're notified when I post the next one see you next time bye bye